Anglesey, or Innes Mon, is an ancient island. It boasts lush farmland ringed by rugged coastline and golden beaches. One of our first destinations was the hidden cromlech of Bryn Kelly Dhu, or the mound in the Dark Grove. The Dark Grove may have been replaced by rolling farmland, but the impressive chambered cairn still remains. It wouldn't be van life without a trip to the local brewery, and Anglesey happens to have many. We opted for the largest and most central, Anglesey Brewery. Both when the White Bay was our next stop. This lost in time swimming cove with its crystal clear waters and soft sand beach made for the perfect launching point for a day's paddle boarding. And of course, we had to stop for a crab sandwich lunch on the sun-warmed deck of the White Eagle Pub. Following our glorious day on the beach, we thought a trip to the ruined Coast Guard lookout point at Hollyhead would be the ideal spot to watch the sun go down. The weather, however, had other ideas. We retreated to our cosy home on wheels for a night of wood fired pizza and bourbon whiskey. We're in the van, it's far too bloody cold outside. On the hottest day of the year, it's freezing. I bought mine first. Hold up for a second. What do you want, mine? No, it's fine. Got the diesel heater on. Take the chill away. Cheers, missus. Cheers. How are you doing? Alright, just in the rain. We walk the next day to the same dreary weather. After some hot coffee, we decided to visit the tiny E Cut Mug Smokehouse, a hidden family run smokery and goat farm, to buy some delicious kiln smoked cheese. It wasn't long before the sun reappeared and we could continue our adventure, driving north to find the superb hidden bay of Porth Wen. With its old ruined brickwork buildings and beehive kilns, this high rocky peninsula offered spectacular views and cliff top walks. We stopped to sample some excellent local ales at the Ship Inn, a traditional seaside pub overlooking the charming Red Wharf Bay. As the sun sank over the fields, we enjoyed a delicious three-course meal at the new pop-up restaurant, Mock Amor, where the food was as fresh as it could be. Our last day on the island meant we had to squeeze in one last adventure. We went in search of the lost ruins of Barren Hill. Hidden away in private land through a dense network of paths, this completely overgrown country mansion was as eerie as it was beautiful. This is madness. We're walking through some secret woods. I'm trying to find some sort of <coughs> abandoned country manor, I think. <laughs> but yeah, currently lost in a rhododendron forest, somewhere just out of Beaumaris. Was that their car?
We finished our time on Anglesey wandering the streets of the quaint village of Mulfrey, stopping by its beachside hut for some of Wales's best ice cream.